When it comes to playmats for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other trading card games, many players tend to focus on the artwork and never the function. A playmat is not a luxury. It is a valuable tool for protecting your cards. Yes, it's true. For a playmat is a portable playing surface, one that you, the player, can ensure is always clean, something that can't be said for the tabletop at your local game store or wherever it is you seek to get in a quick game of magic. Nonetheless, many different companies make many different styles of playmat, and thus this review will compare and contrast the playmats offered by Ultra Pro, including their brand new line of original Magic Artist series, the Fibersoft style of playmat offered by Legion Supplies, the brand new and redesigned Dragon Shield playmat, as well as the cornucopia of customizable styles offered by Inked Playmats. Ah, but with so many choices, some are better than others, sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look! Let's begin with Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro playmats are the ones you are likely most familiar with. Since they are the company that licenses official artwork from each new set, their playmats are the ones which usually adorn the shelves of your local game store. Ultra Pro playmats are the standard from which to compare other mats to. With a neoprene rubber back, which provides a non-slip grip on your play surface, and a cloth top, Ultra Pro playmats are machine washable. The artwork tends to be the largest draw to Ultra Pro playmats. They hold up well over time, are fairly long-lasting in other words, as I even have some heavily played ones from years back. And the biggest problems that I've ever encountered is a fraying of the edges on the cloth top. And I suppose, as a bit of an art snob myself, the disappointment that the artwork Ultra Pro utilizes is little more than a poster for whatever cards are in the new set. Ah, but there's a new direction there as well, because let's say art is your jam, and fair enough, because Magic the Gathering art is incredible, and yet since Ultra Pro seldom puts out any artwork except except that of each new set, and thus a new deal has been born between Magic Artists and the original Magic Art web store. Made by Ultra Pro, licensed through Wizards of the Coast with fair profits going to the MTG artists through sales at the original Magic Art store, and yes, that is a massive mouthful three-way, uh, no, four-way, business deal that allows you to now buy Ultra Pro quality mats with classic MTG artwork, the kind that you won't typically find for sale at your game store. Now these styles are the ones available exclusively through the original Magic Art Store, which sells them online at a much higher price than you're going to have to pay for art from the newest set. And in addition to this, many Magic artists have licensed use of their artwork on Ultra Pro manufactured playmats, meaning that in addition to the original Magic Art Store, you can find these Ultra Pro playmats featuring Magic Art from Therese Nielsen, Jeff Miracola, and many others. But regardless of whether you want new artwork at a lower price or older artwork at a higher price, or just want to buy a signed playmat from your favorite MTG artist, in the end, Ultra Pro playmats are long-lasting, machine washable, have a great surface feel, and now come with a wide variety of magic artwork. Like many playmats, the edges are subject to fraying, and folding instead of rolling can cause breaks in the rubber backing. Made in the USA with an MSRP of $21, these are the standard by which to judge other mats, and a borderline B plus A minus in quality, depending on what you're looking for in price and artwork. Next, we have the Legion line of Fibersoft playmats. While Legion does make a line of traditional rubber-backed and cloth-topped playmats similar to the Ultra Pro, which I have already reviewed here, the Fibersoft is a fairly unique offering. The Fibersoft playmat is not rubber-backed. I repeat, there is no rubber backing to this playmat or anywhere else. On the playmat, it's rubber free. Instead, we have a soft microfiber top with a tough felt-like backing. This makes the playmats foldable, although creasing will occur, but luckily they too are machine washable and ironable. And yet I am not a fan of the felt bottom in contrast to rubber. Why? because the felt has no grip on your play surface and is very prone to sliding and slipping around. When you are in the middle of a game of magic, you don't want your board state jostled or even just your concentration broken by a playmat that won't stay put.
Made in China and measuring 14 by 24, although it sports a lower MSRP of $15, I find this both an unpleasant playing surface and vastly inferior to even the most satisfactory of competitors. Grade is a D plus for do not buy, and the only reason that plus is there is for any customers who might need a rubber-free playmat. But even if that's you, I don't think you're going to enjoy this as your alternative option. Dragon Shield is jumping back into the playmat game with a wholly redesigned design style of mat. If you'll recall from my old playmat review, Dragon Shield mats were terrible quality, an awkward size, and came more or less permanently crumpled right out of the box, with incredibly dull and uninspired artwork to boot. But look at this redesign. At the very least, aesthetically speaking, we see a major improvement. Vibrant colors and detailed illustrations adorn these mats, which are now a more acceptable size of 24 by 14. Dragon Shield sleeve boxes have been popular because they can double as deck boxes, and with the playmats, these sturdy cardboard containers can double as a playmat tube. And they even come with a built-in life tracker. Oh, and they even come with this neat Dragon Shield metal coin that you can use as the counter. Jagged Edge, interesting little inclusion, fun. Now that's all cute, but let's take a closer look at the mat itself. There is still a problem with these mats being prone to curling. I don't know what Dragon Shield is doing in their manufacturing process that results in such curling, but if you take it directly out of the box, say at your local game store at a pre-release, then you're going to end up with a wrinkled mat that's rolling up on itself. Now, a good wash and iron will, of course, get this out, or simply an ample amount of time under some heavy, dense weights such as books. Now, if the inability to lay flat out of the box is this biggest con, let's look at its biggest pro. Edges that don't fray. Remember I said most mats will end up frayed along the edges over time? Well, Dragon Shield has a stitched border which completely prevents this. Now, Dragon Shield is not the first company to offer a stitched border on their play mats. However, in comparison to these other companies, Dragon Shield got it right. If you looked at my previous reviews where we've seen stitched border play mats, you'll remember that cards caught on the border, which, when you tried to sweep your cards up, meant a disaster. Luckily, Dragon Shield offers the stitched border to prevent fraying, but not prevent your cards from being picked up off the mat itself. So I can scoop up my cards off the edge here and never worry about them catching. Great surface feel as well. Durable, machine washable, and vibrant colors, the biggest selling point here for me is that stitched edge. The only con is its trouble with curling. Honestly, even after ironing this, even after having washed it, put heavy books on it, I find it still is prone to go back to not laying completely flat. And that is what is keeping this from just being a solid A. I'm gonna give it a B plus instead and say this is still a huge improvement over what we previously saw from Dragon Shield, which were, quite frankly, the worst play mats ever. Inked play mats are an online seller of custom art play mats. Whereas with Ultra Pro, you need to have a major corporate deal to be able to display custom artwork on their mats, something that is out of reach for the average player. Inked allows you to just upload your own art or choose from a huge list of artists to provide the perfect custom touch when it comes to artwork. Inked also happens to be the most common manufacturer of play mats for many Magic the Gathering content creators, from Loading Ready Run to myself. Why do we choose inked? Well, inked play mats are especially bright and vibrant, and inked works with you, not just us as the content creators, but you uploading your own artwork to ensure that resolution and the final product is optimal. I very much like that personal customer touch, caring greatly about the quality of the artwork that ends up displayed on their mats. Similar to the Ultra Pro mats, inked mats have a neoprene back and cloth top, providing a non-slip grip on your playing surface. As with the Ultra Pros, inked edges can become frayed over time. But that really is the only con here, and unlike Ultra Pro, you can have your own personally customized art to reflect yourself as you play. There's also a wide variety of sizes to choose from. 
from the standard 24 by 14 to double and triple sized mats, and many other options, which just puts this over the top, and quality is a solid A. I hope very much this playmat review has been of some help to you, even if you disagree with the grades I assigned, hopefully you have found that through seeing these products opened, tested, and described, that you can make better purchasing decisions, saving you money, and ensuring that when you spend that money, you are spending it most effectively for you as a player. And remember, when you do spend that money, when possible, be sure to spend it where you spend time playing Magic the Gathering. And that's at your local game store whenever possible. You're supporting your Magic community. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.